Hello. I pray that you're well today. I have a question. What is the most important thing in relationships? Not just in your relationship being married, but with your children, with your parents, with your friends, with your coworkers, with everybody you know. What's the most important thing in relationships? I want to read you a scripture. I think this fits. It says this statement. My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Because human anger does not produce the righteousness that God desires. It's the gift of listening. Have you ever been not listened to? You feel like you're saying words, but no one is receiving them. You don't feel valued. You don't feel worth it. That somehow would someone views you important enough to listen. There's a gift. The most significant thing you can do in most relationships, in all truthfulness, is to listen. Because listening helps people not be angry or frustrated. Listening, at least oftentimes, will have something that's very tense go down. Everyone, take note of this, everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Listening. Listening is a gift. I learned this over the years. I picked this up somewhere where somebody told me, please, here's a phrase, please tell me more about that. When I don't know exactly what somebody is saying or I really don't completely understand or I might even candidly disagree, for clarification and to take some time, I'll say, please tell me more about that. It's a great phrase. It works really well because then the person feels heard. You have the opportunity to be able to do the very thing that the Bible says. Be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Please, tell me more about that. Because listening is a gift. And candidly, when you might not completely agree, but at least you feel heard, you feel valued, listening clearly is a gift. I want you to think about today. I want to give you something to do, maybe a piece of homework. Maybe you might even use this phrase. Please tell me more about that. That person who hears those words will say, this person values me enough to hear me more. Let's pray. Dear God, bless us with the ability to be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry because our anger does not produce the righteousness that you desire from us. May we have the gift of listening one to another. May we value each other to spend the time hearing the words the other person is saying, that we care about them, that we love them, that we lift them up, that we pray for them. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, Please tell me more about that. The gift of listening is truly a gracious gift. God bless you today.